Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are in the Rise of the Necromancer campaign, about to start the Master Scenario. Defeat Ethric and all of his allies to win the scenario. However, if Sandro is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Sandro is limited to level 10, but will carry his experience, skills, and spells onto the next scenario. <sighs> Another small map. These are always, like, <laughs> the pain for me. I might run hard, liches, plus two knowledge, three thousand gold. Um, I think I'm gonna take the plus two knowledge. I mean, it worked out well for me last time taking this stat up, so I think I'm gonna do it again. During your journey to Deja, you meet a young wizard named Vidomina, who wishes to become a necromancer. You agree to take the grim young woman on as your apprentice after she demonstrates a natural talent for necromancy by killing and temporarily resurrecting small animals. Her training goes well, and you soon take her into your confidence. You explain to her your quest, the powerful, the powerful artifacts you possess, and why Ethric wants your head. She grasps the situation quickly and begins making suggestions for attacking Ethric. Defeating him will be difficult, but with this bright new apprentice, your odds have improved considerably. <laughs> Interesting. Zero, zero, one, one. Oh, okay, because I only have... Well, I got it. I was like, why do I only have 130 spell points? And that's because I started out with... Thirteen. Wow. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing here. A whole lot of nothing. Uh. All right, Sandro. Okay. Oh, yep. Step one. Take the gold. We'll get some vampires, that's good for us. And we're gonna head out over this way. We'll get ourselves a town hall. Vitamina continues to demonstrate a great talent and dedication to becoming a necromancer. Having spent the day conferring with your advisors, you are not available to tutor today, but in the evening you check upon her studies. As you watch her practice incantations under the moonlight, you realize that she is also quite beautiful. Suddenly her eyes meet yours, and she smiles warmly. You turn away, slightly ashamed for the momentary indulgence. Necromancers are not supposed to have such feelings. Vitamina walks over and places her hand on your shoulder. Good evening, master. It is good to see you. I missed your company today. You brush your hand away. Your first lesson for this evening. Do not be so familiar with me. Necromancers must constantly deal in death, and it is wise to remain distant to those around you, even your mentors. <clears throat> yes, Master, Vitamina replies sheepishly. Now for your second lesson. Do not place too much trust in other people, especially the living. All day long my advisors have been providing information about this land we journey through, but I worry that I have grown to rely on them too much. I need you to go forth and bring me your own impressions of our situation. Discover how powerful our enemies are how many troops they have, and what kind of magic they use. The last four towns I encountered were quite easy to defeat, but I do not wish to fall into the trap of being overconfident. I need a fresh pair of eyes to appraise what lies before us. Now go! As you watch Vitamina ride off on her first lone excursion, you can't decide whether to feel relief or apprehension. Oh gosh. Necromancers having the hot for each other. Awesome. This must be sacred sulfur. Oh, snap, that's... That's so bad. 
Alright. <laughs> well, I didn't lose. That's nice. Alright, Vitamina. Let's just stick with uh, the basics, I guess. Pack of dwarves. We can take on a pack of dwarves. Assuming they don't magically resist me too much, but they're slow, so it should be okay. Okay, so four of you have 80 hit points. Nice. Nice. Try this again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, good. There we go. And we got five witches for our trouble. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Not really sure what to build up here. Long thick branches wrap around your body and pull you to the ground. You are attacked by dendroid soldiers. Awesome. I'm not really worried about this either, but it is mildly annoying. Woohoo, and we got three more liches. Oh no, let's see. Oh, this should be fine. We should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, 15 times 7. Please hit. Yes, skills. Alright. Ooh. Oh, this is beginning to irk me. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll go for some basic earth magic. Why not? Ten liches. So you got troops, but you just didn't get any sort of... Well, we'll get a town hall. I'm not a town hall. A mage guild just to restock.
Well, I mean, not really thinking that she'll get upgraded, but this way at least she'll be not quite as pathetic. We should have taken on several Pegasi, that's for sure. Alright. Let's get ourselves a graveyard. Sora Pegasi don't look too happy to see you. As you begin to approach the ore pit, they lash out at you. Well, I wasn't trying to approach the ore pit. I was trying to beat the stupid dude. Stupid. <sighs> Sigh. been vanquished, and since we beat that area... Hello, vampire lords. Maybe you'll join me. I doubt it, but, you know, it's always a thought. Oh, there's like a gem pond over there, isn't there? Goodness, we're not gonna deal with that. Uh... Yeah, we'll get an estate. Get a town hall here so we can get money. Nope. Hello there, orange dude with like nothing. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would join me, vampire lords. You're kind of a jerk. Okay, wait, how much life do you actually have? 40, so that's. 200 or 160. Well, let's wait and see how far you can move. Alright, there's way I don't have to use any. No eagle eye for you, thank you. Eh, why not? I'll take the experience. I want to make sure we get, uh... Make sure we get up to level 10. I mean, we should, but... I just want to make sure. green castle coming up over here. Alright, we're gonna stay... well, at least I know what's happening over there. Um... Yeah, and you're just gonna totally hang out here. Okay, so now we'll get Mage Guild and start working on other things. I'm working up to getting our city hall. Hello. You're about to die. A horrible, horrible death.
Yeah, we're gonna go for City Hall here now, I think. I don't know. This is all sorts of backwards. I can't make up my mind what I want to do. Ah! The trees around you come to life. You are attacked. Awesome. <laughs> this is just more liches for me. Oh, I should probably get that necromancy amplifier. Yeah, that's a thought. Yeah, we'll get ourselves a necromancy amplifier. And then we'll get ourselves a city hall. Yeah. Actually, we'll have you come over here and get that stuff. And, uh, Sandro. Oh, what, is you, what do you want? The ever smoking ring of sulfur. Alright, well, we'll try and get that. That makes sense. Oh! He's in love, I tell you, a skeleton warrior whispers to his comrades. Haven't you seen the way he looks at her? Why, when she rode off, he practically got all misty-eyed. Shut up, you fool, a zombie warns. Spreading gossip like that can get you killed. Ha! I'm not afraid of Sandro, the skeleton snorts. Why, he's so love-struck, I wonder if he still has the metal to lead us into. A sudden bolt of lightning sends the skeleton's charred bones flying in all directions. There will be no more of such talk. Now back to your duties, Sandro snarls at the surviving troops. They quickly scatter off to their posts. Curse your human frailties, you admonish yourself. If you fail to keep your emotions in better check, your armies may lose confidence in your leadership. Yeah... Oh jeez, where to go now? That's the next question. Maybe go under here and take out the green dude. Hello, a few several. I should break up the liches. I should definitely break up the liches. Two more liches. Awesome. Alright, hold on a sec. Let's, let's break these guys up. There we go. I'll lose them like that. A few red dragons. We can take on a few red dragons, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll find out. Uh, what was she doing? Oh, she's just getting random stuff. I don't want her to go out too far. Especially not with this little mirror. Oh, we should totally send someone through the mirror. Alright, Isra. You're basically just cannon fodder, but we might as well see what's through the mirror. Okay, we got our city hall here, so we're good. We just need more gold for that city hall here. Alright, we're good for right now. Hello, Medusas. You're also going to die. It's going to be exciting for you, I know.
this could be a disaster. Alright, hold on a sec. They're they're immune to like all level spells, right? Level one through three. Okay, pause for a second here. I need to pause for a second. So you can blast that dude. You'll blast those two dudes. And then I'll just whack him down. We're just gonna be the all lich army. Ooh, we wanna get. I get that stuff. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Hello, Etheric. Few, few. Looks like you're coming to get me too. Oh, we're somewhere else with this evil fog. Oh goodness. Oh, come on. Just get me back home. There we go. I think we want a castle. Here we don't need anything, and here we shouldn't need anything. But just in case this guy is coming to get us, we want to make sure that we're we're ready. Oh, he's going for that one, huh? Oh, and you already took that one. Pack a few, huh? Well, hopefully they can take them. Well, I'm basically about to get a gold mine. All right. So you're gonna get four vampires, and then run back here, and we'll get the rest of the vampires, or as many of the rest of the vampires as we can get. Isra, you're gonna basically just run through this way. I mean, this was a bit of me being an idiot. In fact, I should probably head back up and get them basically contained in their little area before I go around doing, like, side questy type stuff. I mean, I don't even know how much side quest stuff I'm really doing here, but... <laughs> but I'm basically just have an army of just liches, which is kind of awesome. Okay, so that's where you're gonna come over here and get stuff, and you, I'm fine with having here, hanging out. I mean, if it comes down close enough, I'll, I'll definitely go out and get him, but... Maybe this will pop us up near them. So we can just be like, stop, go away. Alright, well, now we're level 
level 10, which is great. Daha! Alright. Okay, well now we're, we're set up here for the moment. Hello, Etheric. Alright, well I guess we should work on getting our stuff stuff for uh stuff for a city hall. Oh crap heads. I didn't realize he'd gotten over there. Awesome. Oh goodness. As usual, we're playing some sort of stupid small map and I find ways to screw it up. Yep. Well, I guess we can start by going over here. Should I play defense? This is just pathetic. Pathetic is what this is. This is stupid. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Okay. I didn't even realize that green still had, like, anything. Good to know. Alright, now, I think what I really want to do is come back through here. And work on taking out Etheric, because I'm not really scared of him. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. A message from Vitamina arrives. Master, there are two rampart towns in this region. Thanks. Thanks for that. Etheric sent word to them explaining the incredible danger posed by you because of the artifacts you carry. Unfortunately, dwarves populate one of these towns, and when they learn that one of your artifacts was stone, stone from their people, stolen from their people, they agreed to join Etheric's fight against you. Be wary when passing through this area. Signed, Vitamina. What do you want? I am old and dying. Before I die, I want to bequeath my possessions to someone worthy of them. Achieve level 10, and I will know of your worth. Alright, well, I am level 10. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's cool. Plus 9 knowledge is basically awesome right there. Should have known better, I'm attacked. Ugh. Um, well, I'm thinking that we're probably gonna call it here for today after I get these troops. Uh, this is a good stopping point. Let's 
kind of pathetic, but it's a good stopping point. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. This is Board Gamer Girl saying have a great day. See ya.